see the truth, is it? I just don't love you, Pepe. I'm so sorry. Hey Tiff, I'm gonna come and see you soon. Have a little chat. Yeah, all right. Like tomorrow maybe. Yeah. Go sign a Frank. Trust me, he'll be here. We can rely on that man. I'll go and get Courtney. Yeah. Yeah, she's in your room. Hello, Tiffany. What are you doing here? What a nice surprise, is it? How did you? Bail. Never heard of it. You shouldn't be here. You're not supposed to be anywhere near me or Courtney. Just stay there, darling. Just give it to me, Grant. I don't think so. Grant. You were going to run off and leave me stuck in there, weren't you? No. No, that ain't true. See, I sorted things. She were. You're going to run off and take my little kid, but it ain't going to happen. Listen, let's just sit down and talk about it, yeah? About what? About you, about me, about everything. I'll tell the police that you didn't do it. And then why? What, are we going to patch things up, make a go of it? Well, are we? No. So you still want to take her away from me? Come on, please, just give it to me. Why should I? Look, I made a mistake. A stupid, stupid mistake. It wasn't just a mistake. It was the last in a long line of well, things. What thing? Take your pick. The fact is, is that you never really loved me. That ain't true. You tried, but you never really had it in you. That last night when I told you I loved you, I meant it. It doesn't matter now. It's too late. Well, don't you have any feelings for me? No. No, I'm sorry. Say that then again. Sharon ran off and left me and you ain't doing it too. And you ain't taking my baby. Grant, please just give it to me. Get out of my way. Just give it to me. Get out of my Grant, way. Grant! Grant, please! Six, five, four, three, two. Please give it to me. <laughs>
Tiffany's year is chronicled in this new BBC book, and EastEnders is back on Monday night at 8 o'clock. Next tonight on BBC One, Jane McDonald's Cruise to the Stars. <laughs> There has definitely been a breakdown in sterile procedure. OK, let's do it. I can't. I'm not qualified. Please. I need you. Congratulations, Mr Jordan. You probably saved this man's life. I see little evidence of passion or commitment in your work. Why did you take me on your team? I like a challenge. You know what kind of reputation you've got in this hospital. That's another flying lesson. Would you like to be my mentor? Well, let's start with a cup of tea and see how things develop. I didn't realise you were Nick Will. There is no more Nick. There's a new ward at Holby City. Transfer for surgery. 12th of January on BBC One. Jim's losing control this Saturday in the Generation Game at 5.55. <laughs> Knowles as unpredictable as ever in the house party at 6.55. Then at 7.45, Dale Winton reflects on the best of the National Lottery from 98. Saturday's entertainment on BBC One. Why is New Year's Eve such a big deal? If you can't work it out, spend the evening in with Mark Lamar, beginning in a couple of minutes on BBC Two. BBC One reveals the tantrums and tiaras behind the scenes of this year's Eurovision Song Contest in 45 minutes after a cruise to the stars. This is the Galaxy, one of the largest, most luxurious cruise ships in the world. Touring the tropical Caribbean with 1,000 crew and 2,000 passengers. And this is the London Palladium, showbiz mecca to the stars. And tonight's star, for one night only, is Jane MacDonald, the Yorkshire singer who won the nation's heart earlier this year on the Galaxy. Recognise wherever she goes. Today, she's a household name. Where did you spring from? <laughs> hello. Well, hello. Long time no see. 